So uh, the uh, growth in increase of power consumption in last many years has been around 5%. And uh, this is the type of growth we saw last year. Uh, it was little shade less than 5 uh, And this year also we are targeting that uh, there will be a growth of nearly 5%. And uh, we do expect that uh, uh, going forward, uh, the demand that will be there uh, will be basically in two, uh, uh, two sectors, I would say. One is uh, uh, the demand that has happened because of there is huge amount of consumption by the residential and commercial because of air conditioning load. And the other is the industrial load where the industries have been growing at a very uh, good pace. And uh, considering that, uh, I think the Indian power sector is geared up to meet the requirement. We have seen huge capacity additions that have happened last year. We had a renewable capacity addition of nearly 27 gigawatt. Uh, and, and there was also some of coal. And uh, we do expect that going forward, the demand that is there uh, up to 2030 will be very well met uh, by the capacity additions. Uh, we, of course, have a challenge that uh, with the renewable comes intermittency of power. And how do we, in those hours when we don't have solar and wind, how do we meet the requirement? Fortunately, in those hours, we have the backup of our coal-based plants and some of the gas and nuclear plants and, uh, and, hyd and also hydro plants. So I do expect that uh, the transition that is happening uh, is designed to cater to both uh, solar, yes. non-solar uh, hours, and we will be able to cater to that requirement. So the U.S. tariff structure and regime as it applies to solar panels, and, uh, and we know that this is all uh, very volatile and subject to change. Is that a challenge or, or an opportunity for Tata Power? I think uh, no, right now uh, most of our supplies are within the country. Uh, we have a commitment for our own projects as well as rooftop and the uh, third-party EPC that we are doing. Uh, I uh, don't foresee that there would be any challenge as far as Tata Power is concerned. Uh, in any case, uh, we were not a very big player in terms of, India was not a very big player in terms of export uh, to the U.S. And uh, I think uh, uh, with uh, the way the demand is increasing in the country, uh, we would possibly require all these manufacturing to cater to the Indian requirement, which has a huge appetite. So... Is nuclear an option for Tata Power? And uh, what are Tata Power's plans to uh, develop uh, nuclear energy, whether it's uh, SMRs, the new generation of nuclear generators? Controversial, yes, but past energy crises have proved, haven't they, that all options need to be on the table, even more so now, given the AI boom in India and globally and the need for reliable energy sources? I, I think nuclear will play a very, very important role in the energy transition for India. Uh, and for Tata Power also, we are looking at it uh, uh, with an expectation that once the uh, changes in the law happens in terms of the Atomic Energy Act and, the, uh, and also on the uh, third party liabilities that is there, uh, we will be in a position to take forward some of our plans to set up these nuclear plants. Uh, we are looking for all types of technology, whether it is for the SMRs, which are there, the Indian technology, yes. as also the technology from outside India, and also uh, issues related to that in terms of sourcing of fuel, sourcing of uh, uh, equipment and technology. And uh, how do we, uh, what do we do with the spent fuel? So I think there are a whole lot of things that needs to be finalized. But uh, we stand committed that uh, we will examine this very seriously and it will yes. become an integral part of our energy transition plan.